guys, Greg C96 here with episode 7 of the February 2017 Minecraft Hardcore Challenge. We're gonna get right into this. So, where we left off was I was finishing up the stairs, going into my base, trying to actually get some sort of a base together. I think. Even though. We are in daytime now. I'm going to keep doing this whole cave-in thing. I think I'm going to smelt some cobblestone up. But that was less than a stack, so I'm going to... Six planks is four stairs. Let's do this then. Okay. We're going to do it this way. We're going to probably make way too many. Move the chest. That is 100% unacceptable. My OCD wants to scream. Oh, I know it's unacceptable. It was, um, it was lazy. It was 100% lazy just because I was trying to get it done in time before <laughs> the end of that last episode. You're 100% right, though. <laughs> That's going to drive me nuts as well. But you're right, that is actually 100% unacceptable. And now I need to grab said chest. I'm going to end up putting one on each side, I think. Actually, that's an okay place to start. Boop. There you go, Miss Tater. I fixed it. I fixed it good. I need to find a better way to light this, too. I don't want to focus on getting to the nether to get glowstone, though. Maybe it's redstone blocks. Minecraft? Oh, yes. Minecraft is totally... I, I mentioned this in one of the last videos I made about this. Anyone who plays Minecraft at some level has at least a very minor case of OCD. Uh, like, totally. The entire base is just a fix. I've done it too, back when I was more into the game. Because I, I don't play a whole lot of it anymore. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I need eleven steps. And six planks makes four steps. So I need 18 more planks in order to do this. I'm going to go chop down a tree instead of running all the way back down there. When I start Minecraft, you get OCD. Yeah. For me, Minecraft is not the worst thing for the obsessive compulsive. Um, I get really nutty like when I'm coding. Any sort of programming, I get insane about formatting. Um, I teach programming, so um, my students don't understand why I get so hard about formatting on them. So, you know, it's just, it's important. You got to do it. I think I established that I need 12 planks. No, I need more than 12 planks. Okay, I need to waste more planks. I think I had planks down there. Dang it. I'll just kind of cover up the gravel because no harm, no foul. No, I think I want to do... Eh, I can't say I actually want to fix that. The furnace needs to go. Do I have up here that is of use to me? More coal, I will grab that. I don't really need the ref redstone yet. Um... 
I do need to dig out more of the roof here. I'll go check on the farm real quick, though. I am now thriving in the food department. Totally thriving in the food department. That's awesome. It's a nice change of pace from the last episode. So I need to go one more block out on everything. Okay, I'm going to have way too much cobblestone. But that's okay. Yeah, so at this point I'm planning under... Okay. I'm going to not dig out all of that, even though it is going to get replaced. Just because I want to be able to keep the stair step going appropriately. And I will come back and dig that all out in a little bit to replace at least the top layer with uh, smooth stone. Be right back. Gotta check my dinner. Might be a few. No worries. I'll be around for at least another day cycle. Oh, man. But, yeah. Um, I don't know if I'll do episode 8, because we're coming up on 8 o'clock here. And I do want to start getting settled in for the night, because I do got to get up to go to work. for. F I, I leave at, like, 5 in the morning to go to work. So, I appreciate getting sleep. Because I do work a long day. It's a... Uh, nine hour day with an hour of drive in each direction so it becomes rather a long day plus i need to get that video rendering overnight so i can upload during the day tomorrow because an hour long video takes a bit to upload it just does it's gonna render overnight um which means i'll import it to my editor like as soon as i'm done streaming and then Go do something quick. And then edit it so I can render it overnight. Um, actually, I'm working on getting my home server to do my renders for me. And creating a script that will launch YouTube and automatically upload videos. So that could be interesting. Almost like a macro type thing. Basically would be what it is so that I can basically just push a video off to the render farm and just kind of be like, well, there you go. Do your thing. Because I think that would be super helpful for my workflow. Boop. So the question is, do I want to do the ceiling with stairs? I think that'll look tacky. That's not half bad looking. Okay, we're just going to turn that all into planks. Do that. Start repairing these walls a bit. Because that will drive me nuts. Get that going. We'll do a better torching system too. Um, so we'll just start from the bottom. I almost missed that entirely. I almost could go andesite right up against the stairs because that texture against the cobblestone stairs does not look horrible. But for now, we're just going to go smooth stone throughout. Gotta fix this. Boom, boom, boom. Where was I at? I 
I kind of don't hate leaving ore in the wall. I wish I could have coal ore all the way down, like in there. That would kind of be cool. I think. I could be wrong. <laughs> I don't hate the ore. I just hate the other stones. I just, I like smooth stone the best. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. That's quite a bit of work. And so that's what I'm saying. Like, that texture doesn't look terrible with the cobblestone. The colors are decent on it. Oh, I should, like, close my little door hatch there. But that's gotta go. And that gravel's gotta go. And I'm out of smooth stone. Yay. We got about 10 minutes left probably in the stream. Well, then we'll drop more cobble in there, more coal. Probably pretty close to done anyways with these fixes. Probably don't need a whack ton more cobble, but... Or a lot whack ton more smooth stone, but we'll do it anyways. Man, my pick's about to break. Fix my headphones there. It's not even going to get through two, three, four. Got four blocks out of the way. I have a stone oh wood pickaxe. It's gonna take a while, but I might as well just kill this out. My first wood pickaxe in this uh world. It's remarkable that I still have it. I don't wanna kill it though. Hmm, I'm gonna have to go down anyways. So I need that more cobblestone. Or smooth stone, rather. Words are hard, man. And I'm living the high life with all these nice cooked fish. I'm so glad it's not like a RuneScape where you could accidentally burn whatever you were cooking. Oh, that would suck for Hardcore Challenger. You could burn your food on accident. Where's the smooth stone at? There it is. Oh, shoot. That's also not what I meant to do. that just so nothing can really spawn in there we're getting close to this area being cleaned up i like that coal in the wall i really actually do like the coal in the wall i think we're gonna leave that ah oh, fricker Frick! That's obnoxious. Punch out some of the seal in a bit. Punch out the hidey hole.
Oh yeah, that looks so much better. Already, that looks so much better. We're going to play now to day seven. I think for right now, I'm just going to kind of... I'm going to leave those for right now. And then this has got to get fixed. Because that's got to go in the center there. And then the rest of it could be furnaces. I know that's not enough cobble. Oh, but I had two furnaces. That was perfectly enough. Oh, yeah. So now, on to the rest of the work here. So the area that I'm actually, like operating out of the main hallway here. I want it to be all smooth stone and ores. Could actually probably make use of some iron ore too as decoration. I don't think I've smelted any of my gold ore either, which is good. Yeah, I think we're going to spread some iron ore throughout everything. So it doesn't look as bad when you turn in. I know it's a mine, but it's my home too. I think there's gold ore in there too. There's the gold ore in my inventory. The gold ore is in my inventory. A little splash of gold there. Maybe I'll put a little splash in the wall up here that I just fixed. Just a little bit. I don't want to put too much, you know. And maybe some there. Yeah, that's already looking way better. So now, to my thoughts about the other blocks. Oh, I gotta fix that. So, thinking, I want to dig that out a little bit here. Because I'm thinking I want to use logs to kind of give this a mine shaft feel. Maybe. I'm gonna I'm gonna experiment a little bit I guess I'll make some f fences Well, that's a new recipe for fences. I don't hate that for coming down in here. You know? It's actually kind of nice. I just almost feel like I need to dig the ceiling out one more then. <laughs> Crap. 
But I'm going to lose my redstone accents that way. Maybe I dig it out for a little ways. Because I guess, you know, the mine will get smaller and smaller as we go back. Oh, it's day seven, though, anyways. Um, so, yeah. That's the end of this episode here. Um, we made some progress. We're starting to thrive more than just survive. So, um, that's a positive. Thanks to y'all who came out and checked out the stream tonight. Thanks to everyone who came out to watch the video here on my channel. Um, you guys know the drill of what I'm going to ask you to do. Like that video if you liked it. Throw a dislike if for some reason you didn't like it. Check out the rest of the guys in Big Box of Gamers over at BigBoxGamers.com. Uh, check out Michael Deering on YouTube to learn more about the Hardcore Challenge, as well as check out Bakerville Games, because she posts the challenge video every month. And uh, that's about all I got to say, so uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. That is all.